rage or greed. And here's why. Sponsored by MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, enter in the code YuGiJesus on MetaMats.com and you get 10% off. Likewise, you can enter in that same code YuGiJesus and you get $5 off of some sweet deck boxes on LDBDuel.com. LDBDuel.com, MetaMats.com. They make some of the best stuff in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And they are the best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Instead of being over the top and in character like I always am. I mean, I'm always in a character even right now. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to read off the laptop because I have a handy dandy script here. Seriously, people do play Jar of Greed and Goats and I've been playing it for years. It is a fantastic, fantastic card. And people play it in Edison too. Matter of fact, that's how the script starts. Let's go! In Goats and Edison format, where everyone plays Spell and Trap Destruction because it's necessary, Jar of Greed is OP because people will blind pop or activate Heavy Storm all the time. Yeah, all, all the time. This turns Jar of Greed into a plus. Sam, myself, and some of my other friends have known this and have been taking advantage of this for years. Seriously, years. Cheesing pluses wins games. Do not underestimate that. Chaining Jar of Greed to Dust Tornado, MST, Heavy Storm, Storm, that cheeses pluses, and guess what? It wins your games. More and more players are figuring this out. Take a look at these top deck profiles on GoatFormat.com. Even if it's a one of, it's a great addition to cheese a plus one and card advantage, and card advantage is everything. Unless you are playing against a, a burn deck, then your card advantage just hurts you because of secret barrel. <laughs> You know, that, that's burn, and, and um, you, yeah, that's that's just burn for you. In Edison format, you have Legacy of Yadagarasu, which is Jar of Greed, but with a bonus of drawing an extra card if your opponent has a spirit monster. So if they summon a Shura Priest, Tsukiyomi, whatever. Legacy is actually better in Edison than Jar because of that. I wish Legacy was in Goats, because a lot of people played Suk and Shura Priest and Goats. That'd be sweet. Jar of Greed adds consistency to your decks in past formats where the only search cards are cards like... Reinforcement of the Army, Sangan, and recruiters like Mystic Tomato, which aren't the greatest that have to be destroyed by battle and stuff, you know? In Edison, there are more cards like Charge of the Light Brigade, for example, but it's still not even close to modern format as far as search cards go, you know? Tuning isn't even out yet in Edison, for example. Yeah, I wrote that down. Yeah, that drove me nuts. It still drives me nuts about Edison. Why is it? Anyway, if you play Go format, you know that you are always thirsty for consistency. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you're just always thirsty. <laughs> I actually just improv to that. Go me! <laughs> if you play coat format, you're always thirsty for consistency. And while it sucks to draw jar off of jar, there aren't many other card options besides Upstar Goblin or Good Goblin Housekeeping. Or once again, recruiters like Mystic Tomato, Pyramid Turtle, Giant Rat, for example, all of those guys. Now, Reckless Greed is the controversial card here because it gives you a temporary plus for a guaranteed neg, even if you chain it to something like MST or Heavy. I will say Reckless is way better, I'm serious, way better in Edison format than Goats because it's at three. So you can actually open two or three of it and actually gain some advantage, especially if, once again, you chain it to MST or Heavy Storm. If there's any controversial card mentioned in this video, yeah, it's probably Reckless Greed. Even in Edison, it's kind of controversial because people are like, well, if you open an open one, man, you know, you get to draw. But if you open two or three, dude, I mean, if you, it, it, seriously, if you're playing other draw cards or search cards, it's seriously fine. In Goats, though, it is controversial because, once again, temporary gain for a guaranteed neg. Sometimes Reckless is worth it. If you have Jar set, and you know, in the right moment, getting that extra card, it's just, it's, that's why I say it's controversial. It's, it can be there, but it, most of the time, it, it's just, and if you're activating it to see more cards and you're not chaining it to anything, it's kind of a bad card. By kind of, I mean it's a really bad card. <laughs> like I said earlier, it sucks to draw a jar off of jar, but that's really only the weakness the card has because it being a trap is not a weakness. That's actually what helps you gain advantage. Like I've been explaining this whole video. The only other actual weakness the card has would be if you just draw it at the wrong time because it doesn't do anything for you right there in that moment. Like if you need a mirror force or something to save your ass, yeah, Jar of Greed is not mirror force. It's not going to save you. But the thing is, that's just the luck factor that's always present in the game. You can draw any card at the wrong time. You can draw any card at the wrong time in any format. Ooh. In closing, players should actually explore a format and learn it for themselves and decide for themselves what cards are good instead of over-relying on YouTube videos or advice from others, including this video. 
If you don't like Jar of Greed, if it doesn't work for you, if you keep drawing it at the wrong time, if it's just a bad luck card for you, don't play it. Decide for yourself. <laughs> Remember that time you said Delinquent Duo was bad? I never said that it was bad. I said that it wasn't the power card that it should be and that it's the worst of the Trinity. Did, did I lie? No, 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 I didn't. The weakest card in the Trinity is Graceful Charity. It's a neg one. It breaks even, Eugene. And it pluses if you discard Serpent. Carry the one. Whatever, Jar Grease bad. Subscribe! <laughs>